In this video, we'll demonstrate how to add an ICX switch to the Ruckus One network management platform. Before adding an ICX switch, you must have already physically connected the switch to a network that's connected to the internet and plugged it into a power source to power it on. You must have also already created a venue in Ruckus One where the new switch resides. And lastly, you will have needed to obtain the serial number of the switch. Ruckus One makes it easy to quickly add a single new ICX switch. On the dashboard, click the Add button, then navigate the drop down menu through Device and click Switch. Notice that you're taken from the dashboard to the wired portion of the UI. Required fields are marked with an asterisk, so minimally you must select the venue where the new switch will be placed and enter the switch serial number. Ruckus One immediately reflects the switch model associated with the serial number. Please pay attention to the minimum firmware requirements that appear and follow the instructions shown on screen. Clicking the Click Here for More Information link triggers a requirements pop-up window that steps you through how to check your switch's current firmware version, how to upgrade the firmware version if necessary, and explains the methods of switch connection to Ruckus One. For the purposes of this video, we know that our switch meets the minimum requirements, so we can proceed with our task of adding the switch to Ruckus One. This video focuses on adding a standalone switch, so we'll leave this default setting. Entering a switch name and description are both optional, but note that if you do not enter a switch name, then the serial number will automatically appear as the switch name in your list of switches. Firmware type defaults to factory default. Other settings include switch and router. Switch or router firmware will be applied only if you're adding a switch that has no configuration, meaning the switch is either new out of the box or it's been factory reset. If the switch already has a pre-existing configuration, for example, an ICX switch in use but previously managed by a different Ruckus controller, then it will not be affected by the firmware type setting. Ruckus One does this to prevent connectivity loss. The DHCP client field applies only to factory default switches. Again, meaning the switch has no configuration and it's either new out of the box or it's been factory reset. If the switch already has a pre-existing configuration, then this field is deactivated to prevent connectivity loss. Click Add to complete the task. When the screen refreshes, notice that in the lower right corner, a green notification appears showing that the switch was successfully added to the Ruckus One management platform. You can watch the switch status change as it goes through initializing, synchronizing data, operational, applying the configuration to becoming operational again. It takes several minutes for a switch to become fully onboarded and operational. And depending on the switch's initial firmware version, you may see it go through a firmware updating phase. We've used time-lapse to speed the process in this video. After a switch is successfully added and operational, you can select it from the switch list to perform edit, CLI session, stack switches, and delete tasks. Let's go back to the dashboard, now showing two of the three defined venues as operational and one operational switch. Scrolling down to the map view and hovering our cursor over the venue where we just added the switch, we can see the switch row showing one. And that brings us to the end of this video on adding an ICX switch to the Ruckus One network management platform. 